Hey guys, all jacked up 12 here. I just thought I'd show you some old processor technology and actually some motherboard technology too. But uh, right here we have a the original Pentium processor. Um, I believe it's socket 7. And it's it runs at about 200 megahertz, I think. And um, it's it's an old processor. It uses an FSB uh, front side bus of 66 megahertz. Pretty darn old. Um, this computer was running Windows 95. Um, it's a pretty darn old computer. Um, I re I just pulled the heat sink off of it, and uh, I'm, I'm using it on a video card. Um, I'll have a video on that. Uh, that'll probably be my next video. But um, there it is. This is what I found underneath the heat sink. Was this old original Intel Pentium processor? Pretty darn old. It's it's. I think it's actually the oldest processor I've ever, I've ever personally seen. Um, it's still got like burnt thermal paste on it. I've been, I've tried. I've used to get. It, I've tried to use it off. I've used um, uh, rubbing alcohol. Uh, just rubbing it, uh, scraping it, it didn't work, it's not coming off, but uh, that's besides the point, it doesn't really matter to me, uh, it's, it's just going to be sitting here until hopefully it gains some value, because <laughs> um, it's supposedly a collector's item since it's hard to find these anymore, you can find them on eBay, but um, this one in particular runs at 2.8 volts. Now, just to put that in perspective, my quad-core AMD processor, the Athlon 2 in my custom machine, it doesn't it doesn't even run at 1.5 volts, and it's overclocked to like 3.64 gigahertz. So, just to put that in perspective, that's a lot of voltage running through this old thing. But um, it does still work. Um, I, this computer is pretty much torn apart though. There's nothing in it. But um, that's about it. No blown capacitors. Um, that's about it for this video. So that I'd show you some old vintage technology. All jacked up 12 signing out.